then as the, as the, as the years went by, the big flat screen TVs was the big thing now. It was big, everybody running at, at Black Friday, everybody rushing to go get, um, to go get this, um, this, um, these flat screen, you know, Black Friday, people, people, um, and they pajamas trying to get these flat screens. But now you got Netflix, you got everything else. Mm -hmm. Now people going right back to the small screen, just like how I was when they first began, people going right back to the, to the small screens. You feel what I'm saying? So I just feel like, like you said, it just, just like elevators. My teacher, one of my um, teachers, one of my professors in mass comm, he was saying um, how back then before elevators, it was an actual person that used to do the stuff, that used to do the, the elevator thing. Before it was an electrical thing, there were people who used to do the, um, the elevator, the, um, make people go back up and down. Then right. they were like, then this new idea about electrical elevators. Now you don't need a person. That's why people be losing their jobs. That's why now, that's why I be telling people at the post office, y'all being so nasty, y'all not going to have y'all job. And not because I'm saying it, but because they're making robots. They're making, they're making robots. People with artificial intelligence now. They're about to start having robots do the jobs for you. Now we don't have, now that's why they're getting us used to not interacting with people they're getting us used to not interacting with people because we're about to start interacting with robots now there's going to be a such thing as robots robots going to be the custom the, the customer the um the cashiers at the register robots are going to be that that's what's going to be that that's why they got siri and all they're getting us used to interacting with with with, with gadgets like inspector gadget we about to have you know, that's right. why they're trying to separate the church because they know when we got numbers together Mm -hmm. strong. That's why they're trying to stop the, the congregation. They're trying to stop the assembly of us. Right. And this shit is powerful, man. This shit is deep. Mm hmm That's true. That's so true. That is so true. This shit is deeper than the goddamn... The government never gave a fuck because they gave us 1200 funky ass dollars to have you unemployed for three, four months, six, <laughs> seven weeks. Like, are you, are you serious? What is $1,200 going to do to a family and Everybody not getting unemployment though right now. You know, it's a lot of Americans right now that's not getting it. Right, that's true. Cause a lot of unemployment is backed up. So I feel like they're they're, they're preparing us for this new world order that is about to uh settle down. But uh, the Bible does. Yeah, yeah. What you about to say? My bad. No, no. I was I was cheering you on. Keep going, cause you're speaking right now. The Bible says that's what you was about to say. Well, the Bible does say about this, like a lot of people will be receiving the chip or the, the mark of the beast or mm -hmm. whatever. So, you know, it's, you just got to be real careful. But I don't think it's going to be easy as people make it seem if I get the chip, I can take it out. I don't think it'd be that easy, though. Me like, either. Mm -hmm. That's why you should be like in the first place. I feel like the chip is going to be like, like it's say like the mark of the beast, six, six it's going to be. It's gonna be something of that of that nature. I don't believe it'll be easy. Like, oh, I'm gonna get the chip out of me. It's gonna be something where you can't get it out. They won't have it, something like that, you know. Mm-hmm. So I just right. I just feel like for the new world order, I just feel like anything the government tell me, I don't believe. Like mm -hmm. now all of a sudden people dying and they care. What about people dying? Car crashes every day, heart attacks, people die from diabetes, they ain't trying to get a cure for. So all of a sudden now, you, you, you oh, hey, really? I don't believe right. it though. Right. But it's just to control the people. But see what's happening now with these riots, which right. is being instigated by the government. It's this guy on Twitter, on Instagram, who I follow. His name is Sparrow underscore Anton. Oh my gosh, he got some crazy stuff on his page. But he be preaching sometimes, you know, and he talk about right. the new world order and how they're using this, these riots and looting and protesters and how it's, it's actually like, crooked KKK police, deep state, whatever you want to call them, police officers who are, who are, who are infiltrating this. It's not the protesters, it's them. They're doing this, they're planting. Exactly, there's a lot of white people. Right. There's a lot of white people rioting right now instead of black people. But it's not even just, it's not regular white citizens who, who are, who's doing it. It's actual paid people who are paid protesters who are doing this. They're paid. They're, the man was saying they're, they're paid by George Soros or whatever his name is. They're paid by him. They're doing. They're 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 doing it. And they said they're trying to bring. They they are doing it. Bringing in martial um, martial law, right? Martial laws coming in, and then people trying to overthrow the government. If you overthrow the government, you don't have no government. Then that one world leader comes in. 
the one, the, the leader over the entire world. Read Revelation. Revelation talk about this. A, re, a, a world leader in Revelation chapter 13, it talk about it. Because what's going to happen mm-hmm. is the world going to get so sick and tired. We're going to get so sick and tired of the leaders treating us so badly. We're going to want to overthrow the government. I ain't saying it's going to happen right now. This man ain't saying that. What I'm saying is, mm-hmm. is that you can kind of see the patterns, the trends. You start, you're starting to see kind of a lot of stuff starting to come to pass. And when people say, oh, we all been saying that Jesus returned and all this stuff. It's not, like you said, it's not going to be as easy as, as we think. It's not going to be that easy, but it's, it's, it's going to happen. It may, not, it may not happen in the next 50 years, may not happen next 20 years, may not happen next 10, but it's coming. So. Uh, well, first and foremost, I was reading Matthew the other day. Man, I ain't going to my notes right now. But I was reading Matthew. It said, uh, it's, it's some verse, he's going to come when you least expect it. Right mm-hmm. now, everybody expecting him. So right now, I don't expect him to come. It's too right. much right going on. Too much right going now. on, right. Too much. And confusion. then it said, He said something that, that it's, it's something that stood out to me that really caught my attention. He said it's gonna be like the days of Noah, where everybody was partying, getting married, they was getting drunk. What he what he's saying in a nutshell is that everybody's gonna be reliving regular lives when he come back. He's gonna be coming back like the great flood came and it mm-hmm. just wiped away a lot of people. That's how Jesus is gonna come back. Like you're gonna be like the it, it's gonna be peachy. I think everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna mm-hmm. be like lighting out of the sky. Like wow, he came back at this time. I wouldn't even expect him to come back. So mm-hmm. I don't believe he will come back right now. It, it, it's too sudden. Everybody expecting right, him. Right. He's going to come back with everybody least expected because nobody know the time, the day, or the hour. So it's like, yes, we would know the season, but the season been here for ages. But right. I don't think it, I don't, I don't think it'd be like what you said. It's too expected right now. You know? Right. That's true. That's so true. Hold on. I'm going to pause this real quick. Wait. I'm going to pause right. this real quick. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you good. I just edited it out. You straight, but uh, yeah, it, it it's just like a lot going on right now. I don't expect him to come back right now. Yeah. But, uh, I feel like this right now can be a great time for people to really get serious about just and really get their life to Jesus right now because of you know it's a lot of uh unexpected times. But when he come back, you know, in Timothy, it says like the world's gonna get colder. Parent children gonna be more disrespectful to their parents, and we see that more than ever right now. Yeah, hearts gonna wax cold. I just prayed about that last night. I said, Lord, please bless my heart to not to not wax cold because I felt it. I felt it. I literally, I can feel when my heart starting to wax cold. Like I can. What you you felt? Like what you mean by that? I can just feel me just being hardened. Like even like I was watching like 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 the sermon because I had missed the sermon from Sunday, and like the the pastor was all like. Um, he was like, if you're going to go out there and protest, be peaceful. He was saying something. And it was like, I kind of like, was kind of like on the train where I feel like people should, you know, ride and stuff like that. But it was like, I kind of was ready to cut the pastor off. Cause I'm like, okay, are you trying to discourage the people from, from protesting? But it was like, okay, Ashlyn, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. I don't know. I just, I just felt kind of, it was like sensitive to everything. Like if a person not supporting this riot 